Have you ever wondered why something called a black box isn't actually black? The name alone sounds mysterious, like it's hiding some dark secret inside an airplane. But if you've ever seen one in real life, you'd notice something surprising. It's bright orange, almost neon. So why the strange name? Why didn't anyone ever bother to change it? And how did this piece of technology become so important that it holds the final clues to an entire flight? That's what we're going to dive into today, right here on History of Simple Things. The term black box has been around for much longer than modern aviation. In fact, it didn't even start with airplanes. Back in the mid 20th century, scientists and engineers often used the phrase black box to describe any device or system whose inner workings weren't immediately visible or understood. Think of it like this. If you know what goes into a machine and what comes out, but you don't know exactly what's happening inside, you might call it a black box. It's a metaphor. And the name stuck because it perfectly described the mystery of hidden processes. When the first flight recorders were developed in the 1950s, people borrowed that same term. The device took in information, things like flight data, altitude, speed, and cockpit voices, and stored it away. What happened inside the machine wasn't obvious, but what came out of it was crucial. To early engineers, it was basically another kind of black box. Here's where it gets interesting. The very first flight recorders weren't painted orange. Some were actually dark in color, black or metallic gray, because they were built with whatever materials were available at the time. Back then, the main goal was not making them easy to spot after a crash, but simply making them function. These devices were still experimental, and aviation itself was moving quickly into a new era. It wasn't until later that visibility became a top priority. So, in the early days, calling them black boxes wasn't all that inaccurate. The nickname just carried over even as the technology and appearance evolved. Now let's answer the obvious question. Why are today's black boxes painted bright orange? The answer is simple but extremely practical. Visibility. When a plane crashes, investigators need to find the recorders as quickly as possible. A dark or neutral colored device would be nearly impossible to spot among wreckage, debris, or underwater environments. So instead, they painted them in high visibility colors. The standard choice became a bright, almost neon orange, sometimes with reflective strips. It's the same logic behind why life vests and emergency rafts are bright orange. The color stands out against almost any background, whether it's green jungle, gray mountains, blue ocean, or charred wreckage. Interestingly, in official aviation terms, the correct name isn't even black box. It's the flight data recorder, FDR, and the cockpit voice recorder, CVR. Both of these devices are usually housed together, and both are painted in that distinct orange so search crews can find them faster. So what do these orange boxes actually do? A lot more than most people realize. One part, the flight data recorder, captures hundreds of parameters from the aircraft. That includes speed, altitude, engine performance, control inputs, and more. Modern planes can record thousands of different data points, giving investigators a precise picture of how the plane was behaving before an accident. The other part, the cockpit voice recorder, captures the last two hours of conversation and sounds in the cockpit. That means the pilot's voices, radio transmissions, warning alarms, and even background noises, like switches clicking or engines humming. When investigators put these two recordings together, they can often reconstruct exactly what went wrong and why. That's why the black box is so vital. 
It tells the story of the final moments of a flight when no one else can. Another reason the black box deserves its reputation is how incredibly tough it is. These recorders are engineered to survive conditions that would destroy almost anything else. They can endure temperatures of over 1,000 degrees Celsius, crushing pressures at deep sea levels and violent impacts. In fact, they're tested by being shot out of cannons, crushed under heavy weights, and burned in intense fires, just to make sure they'll still work. That bright orange paint isn't just for show. Beneath it is a hardened case that protects the memory units inside. Even if the aircraft is completely destroyed, there's a good chance the black box will survive and provide answers. At this point, you might be wondering, if black boxes are orange, and if the official names are FDR and CVR, why do we keep calling them black boxes? The truth is, it's one of those cases where tradition and culture beat technical accuracy. The term black box became popular with the public and the media. And once a phrase sticks in people's minds, it's nearly impossible to change. Think about it like dialing a phone. Most of us don't use rotary dials anymore, but we still say we're dialing a number. Or how we say we're filming, even when there's no physical film involved. The black box is the same. Its name is more about cultural memory than literal description. You might think the color of a black box is just a quirky detail, but it actually says a lot about how technology and language evolve together. The name came from an era of engineering metaphors. The color came from a need for safety and visibility. Together, they created one of the most iconic pieces of aviation technology, something that symbolizes both the mystery of flight and the relentless pursuit of safety. The next time you hear about a black box, you'll know the irony behind its name, and you'll also know why that bright orange color is far more than just paint. Without it, countless accidents would remain mysteries. It's a lifeline to the truth. So yes, black boxes aren't black at all. They're orange, tough as nails, and absolutely essential. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.